Hello, we are going to talk about your styling hot tip of the week and the six secrets to how you can become a little bit more confident with your personal style. And this isn't going to be a just add a belt, you're good to go. This is actually six really, really good, I like to call them secrets because a lot of people don't share these secrets or these tips and tricks and they typically share just the generic basic styling examples and guides. So let's go into it a little bit more. The first thing we're going to talk about is you are the boss. Okay, yes. <laughs> so you are the one with the wallet. Try to think of it like this. Okay, so try to think of it like you are the client and your wallet is the stylist. Your wallet is doing the work for you. So you actually have the power to decide whether or not you are going to buy that piece. So you actually have to put yourself in the position of, is this piece worthy of coming home with me? So don't just buy a sale item because it's $10. Really look at it and go, mm, is this $10 worthy enough to come home with me? Will I wear this $10 all the time? Is this $10 item amazing? Does it make me feel amazing? So try to think of it as if you're the boss and don't let fashion and style overpower you. So, especially when it comes to sizing as well, remember you're the one with the wallet. So if you find a piece that doesn't fit you or makes you feel less than what you are, remember you're the one with the wallet, you're the boss, you're the one that goes, well, sorry, you didn't get my money today. And then you walk off. So that is a really great way to empower yourself is to think that you're the boss, you're the one with the wallet, you're the one that gets to decide whether that piece comes home with you or not. Now, this also works with your wardrobe as well. You are the boss. You are the boss of your wardrobe. So you also get to decide, I'm the client. Are you working for me anymore? If not, if there's no connection, bye-bye. Out the door, out the door. See you later. Next. <laughs> So the next thing we're going to talk about is rolling it up. It might sound super simple, but it's effective. So rolling up your sleeves, rolling up the bottom of your pants, rolling up and scrunching up your blazer, all of that can help you feel a little bit more put together. And I guess stylish as well, because you are rolling it up and you're changing the way that the top naturally looks on the hanger. And a really good tip about rolling it up is that it can enhance your waistline. It can actually give you that balanced proportion, that beautiful hourglass figure, which I do believe that everyone has a waistline. You do. We just got to make sure that we strategically play with pieces to show that. And you can start with sleeves or your blazers or a long t-shirt or your jeans. Roll it up, sis. Okay, the best outfit is not your clothing. Confidence is the best outfit. Being comfortable with it, being yourself is the best style. If you are confident wearing a certain color, so if black makes you feel confident, then wear more black. If it's a hat, if it's an accessory, if it's trackies, that is going to be your superpower into this world really because at the end of the day you want your wardrobe to make you feel happy you do not need to be the most stylish person in the world as long as you feel that way inside so it's not actually about what you're wearing because you can wear the most glamorous dress and if you're not confident and you've got your shoulders tucked down and you're not making eye contact and, 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 and you're talking like this, that's, that's, that's the energy that you're putting off. But if you're relaxed and you're open to receiving and you're chilled and you're happy within and you might be wearing a potato sack, I guarantee that people will like you because you are putting out that happy, confident feeling. So that 
That's the next one. The best outfit is not actually clothing. So really keep that in mind if you are having one of those days. Okay, the hanger trick. Oh, I love this one. Okay. We wear 20% of our wardrobe 80% of the time. It's actually a true story. I have worn this blue top so many times this week. What you can do here is literally go out and buy different colored hangers. Make them vibrant if you want to. Go out and buy some colorful hangers. Test yourself and see what you're wearing. So wear the outfit. Then when you're done with it, after even after you've washed it, it's come back into your wardrobe, hang it on that colorful hanger and just filter through. It doesn't mean that you have to wear everything in your wardrobe. You can still come back and wear this same piece as long as you put it back on the hanger. And this is a great way to learn your style. It's also a really great way to see what you're actually using in your wardrobe and what you're not using in your wardrobe. Keeping in mind of the season, so of course, if it's not a chunky knit and you're in summer, separate the two. We're just talking about the seasons here. And this is a, another great way to see what's also missing in that season. So if all you're wearing is black camis and you've got all these beautiful other pieces in your wardrobe, but you're drawn to black camis, figure out why that is, what is happening there. And the wardrobe hanger trick is going to help you see that. Okay, next. next one. Don't believe, don't believe social media. Okay, I had to put this on here because what a lot of people don't talk about or show is their natural environment. A lot of people will go on social media and show you the best of the best. They will, they will give you inspiration. For me anyway, I like to make sure that you are inspired so that you can leave the house looking and feeling fabulous with budget fashion. However, that's not how I always dress at home. I love my leggings, love active wear, love my trackies. I sleep in my boyfriend's oversized shirts, <laughs> even though I have really nice Peter Alexander um, pajamas. But my most comfortable pieces that I'm most comfortable with, with my family and friends, are actually my most daggiest pieces. But... When I'm showing up online and when I'm with clients and when I'm out in public, yeah, I like to put a little bit of effort in. So what I'm trying to say is don't put that pressure on yourself that if you're looking up to someone and they always look amazing, and this goes for family and friends, if they always look amazing, they always look put together and you start to feel crap on the inside, you start to feel like, oh, I really, really need to make more effort. But deep down, you know that you are actually so comfortable wearing leggings. That is okay. This is your permission to be okay, that you can admire and take the inspiration and use them for when you need to go places or when you need to do something, or if you do need that little bit of a push and you do want to feel a little bit more out of it, but only if you want to do that, not because you feel you have to do that because social media is showing that and filtering that through. And you're also seeing that a lot at the school pickups or at the shopping centers or wherever you go. So just know that the most sexiest people actually feel most comfortable in leggings and trackies and oversized shirts. Okay, cool. So don't believe everything on social media. The last thing we're gonna talk about is using your best features. And I love this. Your best features can literally be your personality. So if you're a really nice, kind person and you're very sweet and quiet, that is a feature. So choose colors that represent that. Choose silhouettes that represent that. Um, give that to people. Doesn't matter what you wear. If you're a nice person and you're just helping, it doesn't matter what you wear. Now, if you like your hair, Accentuate by adding earrings towards your hair or add accessories around your hair. Do your hair. Make your hair your best feature and you can still wear your oversized pieces as long as this is your favorite bit and you're really highlighting this. Same for your legs. If you like your legs, show off your legs, sis. Put on that mini skirt, show it off. If you like your nails, Go get your nails done. Go get some fun nails done. So I want you to think about what do you actually like about yourself? It doesn't have to be a physical thing. It could be 
the fact that you really encourage people. You have a really great way to help lift people up. So use your personality as your best feature. Speak up more. That can be your best style feature. So think about that one because that is actually the biggest secret when it comes to personal style. And a lot of the times we're not drawn to the outfit. We're drawn to the person. So ask yourself, why am I drawn to that person? What is she doing? How is she speaking? How is she holding herself? Focus on that as well and see what happens for you. Enjoy this video. Go out this week trying some of these tips. Report back to me. Send me a DM on Instagram. Let me know how you go.